Ghost of DTM's past, <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster, so Toastmaster. I was a long-term Toastmaster. I was a Toastmaster when a gentleman by the name of Ralph Smithley founded this organization. I received many honors. <laughs> But, as you can see, I have fallen from grace. My downfall all started when I visited <coughs> this advanced club called Capital Toastmasters Club 6. Six, six, <laughs> in Washington, D.C. <laughs> it had congressmen, it had senators, it had secretaries, it had dignitaries. And I was a corrupt, became a corrupted postmaster. They taught me to speak beyond my allotted time. They taught me to violate all the laws and all the rules that Toastmaster had ever taught me. When I returned to my home club, I committed the most ultimate sin. I defied, I say I defied my division governor. And she set upon a curse when you die, you will only, you will walk the earth and not allow, be allowed to rest. You will only be allowed to speak <coughs> what contests and on All Hallows Eve. <laughs> you will be forced to attend clubs and be not allowed to speak. <laughs> Thus, my faith, I wander the earth from Syracuse to Monterey to Peking, all over the earth, not being allowed to speak. And I look for somebody to release me from this curse. I hear that there are special Toastmasters who have powers to overrule these division governors. They call them legates. <laughs> Lieutenant Governors of Education and Training. <laughs> and I sought out one, but it turned out to be an evil legate. <laughs> so evil that now I am not just a ghost. I am a ghost zombie. And I am one of the talking dead. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.